We'll continue with exercise 5D, question 4. Find the sum of the series. They give us the series. We have to find their sum. 72 minus 72, 70 minus 68, 2. So clearly we see this series is an AP. So in that way we can apply the uh, SN formula. So the first term is 72. Common difference will be 70 minus 72. That is minus 2 because this one is greater. Then here we don't know N. So N we still have to find but they give us here. Okay, like here they give us term, so this is n, but here there is no term, so that means this one is the last term. We can take it as a n or as l. So first we have to find n. Then we take it a n to be 40, apply the formula of a n. Uh, we have a n minus 1 whole d equal 40. a we know 72, d we know minus 2. And we still have to find uh, 72 there is no n we can transfer that side plus become minus minus into plus minus minus to minus plus so 72 minus 40 we get minus 30 this one has no n again we can transfer this side so both are minus we have to plus but sign remains same so minus minus cancel 34 divided by 2 we get 17 number of term now here is 17 we can find as n in place of n we can put 17 so since we know the last term we will use the second type of formula n by 2 a plus a n n we know from here 17 a is the first term 72 a n we know 40 plus this 2 we get 112 we divide by 2 since we have in 2, we can divide 56, multiply with 17, we get 952. Then we go on to question number 5. Find the sum of first and natural numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to n of them. Okay. Uh, since they say first mean, we start right from number 1. So the first term will be 1, the second term will be 2, common different 2 minus 1 will be 1. Then we don't know the last term, so we use the first type as n equal n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 whole d. n remain n because they say n terms. Uh, a we know 1, then d we know 1. So it will become 2 n into 1 minus 1. 2 minus 1 will be 1 plus n. We cannot plus, we cannot minus. That is the answer. Then the second one they say first find the sum of first hundred natural number so first mean right from the beginning one two three up to hundred so that mean definitely there will be hundred of them first term will be a that is one second term two common different two minus one will be one number of term we know hundred so we can apply the formula as n equal n by two n we know hundred so wherever there is n we put with hundred then two into one common different also 1 900 minus 1 99 uh, 99 into 1 99 then plus 2 we have 101 then 100 here we can divide directly then we multiply we get the answer the next question number 6 uh, we have the sum of n terms so number of term is n uh, so sk okay sk is equal to 5k plus 1 then we have to find the sum of n of them so instead of giving us n they give us k so if we want to find n that mean in place of k we can replace with n more or less it will be the same only so in order to get a k already given so if we want first term so in place of k we can replace one no problem so it'll be six if we want the second term because we need to find a common different we can put k equal to two so it'll be 11 common different will be 11 minus 6 that is 5 number of term already given n so we use formula as n n remain n a we know from here it is 6 
then d we know 5 we can replace here we multiply 12 minus 5 7 after that we cannot do anything that will be the answer then next number 7 uh, the sum of n term of an AP the sum of n term that means the SN SN equal to PN plus QN square P and Q they are constant so we have to find the common difference so to find common difference we need first term and second term here it is SN so if I want first term so it will be n equal to 1 that means when I set S1 then there will be only one term and that definitely will be the first term so if I want the first term then I can replace in place of n with 1 so we'll get p plus q okay s1 mean only one number so that number i can take it as first term so that is how we get p plus q and then next we need the second term so we can put n equal to 2 uh, so p into 2 q into 2 square will be for q but here s2 that mean there are two terms so i can take the first term and second term first term we already have from here p plus q to get the second term this 2 i transfer this side 2p minus p will be p 4q minus q will be 3q to get the common difference we minus second term minus first term second term p plus 3q then minus this one so p and p cancel 3q minus q equal 2q common difference between them is 2q then next question number eight we have to find the sum of three digits number that means those number which have three numbers in them but they should all be there in table 11 multiples of 11 mean we should find them in table 11 so 11 into 10 110 11 to 9 99 only two number 11 into 10 110 so that will be the first one 11 into 11 1 to 1 that will be the second one 11 into 30 uh, 12 1 3 2 that will be the third one so if we continue because three digit the last will be 999 we cannot divide it by 11 so it will not be in table 11 then 998 we cannot divide by 11 so that also will not be in table 11 so the last number if we check that way 997 so we'll come up to 990 where we can divide by 11 so the first term is 110 the second term 1 to 1 the last term will be 990 so in order to find the sum we need number of terms if we check they're different they are same so definitely they form an ap so we can use formula for sn common difference will be a2 minus a1 we get 11 the last term we have 990 so we use the general form for a n a plus n minus 1 whole d equal 990 then a we know 110 d we know 11 here we multiply then those which do not have n transfer this side then we get n equal to 81 so there are 81 of the three digits which are in table 11 so now we can use SN, we know the first term, we know the last term, we can use the second form formula, we plus this, divide by 2, what we get multiply by 81. So that will be the sum of the three digit numbers which are multiple of 11. Then next we have number 9. Uh, we have the sum, the series here. 18 plus here also we don't know n we have to find it the first term we have second term we have we can find the common difference then here we have the last term because there is no term here it means this one is a n so first we have to find n so okay we have mixed fraction convert it to proper fraction 2 into 15 30 30 plus 1 31 uh, once you have fraction, please find LCM, 2, 1, 1, 2, 31, 1 divide 2, 2, 2 into 18, 36, 36 minus 31, 5, minus is greater, we put minus. Then AN, here we have to convert, 2 into 
2 into 49 will be 98. 98 plus 1, 99. An, we can apply the n at formula. So a, we know 18. D, we know minus 5 by 2. Here, we can find LCM. Okay, 2 and 2. Uh, this one has no a. We can transfer that side. So we find this one also. So LCM of 2, 1 and 2 will be 2. Then here 2 divide 2 same, 1 divide 2, 2, 2 into 18, 36, 2 divide 2, 1. They all have minus sign, so we can plus them. 2, 2 in the denominator, we can cancel, n equal to 28. We get the number of term, we can find Sn. So in place of n, we put 28. First term, we already have as 18. The last term, we have as minus 49, 1 by 2. We already convert into proper fraction that is minus 99 by 2. So here we find LCM since we cannot cancel. Here we can divide directly, okay? Then 2 and 1, 2. 1 divide 2, 2. 2 into 18, 36. 1 minus 1 plus, we minus. Then 2, we can divide again with 14. 7 into minus 63. The sum is equal to minus 441.